Hello, my name is Shreda and today I'm going to teach you how to pointer scan. Yes, that's right, I'm going to teach you how to make your own little cheat table, cheat trainer, by using pointer scan. So, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to find your value, which I'm going to do now. This is a game called Choice Chamber, and I want to hack its money. So, I'm just going to collect this money, and I'm going to find my value. Now, why would anyone want a pointer scan? Well, I'm going to show you why you would want a pointer scan. So let's say, oh, I have 26, okay? So let's say I find the value right, like this, okay? I found the value, but, oh, my game crashes. And when I restart the game, and open choice chamber, emoni. And as you can see, I have one money, but it still says zero, and uh, it does not work. Now I'm going to collect my second coin, still two, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to get the process again, and it's still zero. That's why you want pointer scanning, because it uh, searches for the value, or well, for, it searches for the address for you, automatically. Now, you have want to find your value. There we go, there's my value. And just to prove that that's my value, I'm going to put it to 100 and find another coin. Uh, because... So now I have 100 coins. Uh, but it's not shown because... There we go. So as, as you can see, 101 because I picked up that coin. Now, what if I want to... You know, what if I have to go now and I don't want to search for that value again? Because that value is really hard to find and, you know, I'm going to be using this often and it's just going to the pain of finding the value every single time I die or the game crashes or I close and open the game again. Uh, that's why there is pointer scanning. The way you do this is you right click on your value or address and you look for pointer scan for this address and you click that and you click OK I'm going to say I'm going to save it as a uh, 1 you you want to save it as numbers because if you screw up so that you can go back to the previous uh, pointer scan before you screwed up and you can find uh, what you did wrong alright so now you just want to wait for it, the pointer scan <laughs> to finish and there it's in finished as you can, as you can see I got a lot of results uh, 17 million I believe I'm bad at numbers don't judge just relate but what, what you want to do now is when your pointer scanned the first time you want to close the game completely and reopen it there it is and now I'm just going to open it in the process again. As you can see, the values are not the same. Uh, so you just want to find the value of, of uh, coins or whatever you're looking for again. And you're going to want to do this, well, a couple of times. Now that I found my second value, I'm going to, I'm going to double click down below where it says addresses. So I'm going to double click on its address. I'm going to... Uh, Okay, right click on it. So I'm going to select the uh, address and hit right click, copy, hit OK here, and go back to your pointer scan. Click on pointer scanner and rescan memory. Now you can either do this by finding a new value. So it's when it's 26, so you can type 26 and find <coughs> a pointer result like that, or you can use the better way by if, uh, using the address. So you just want to paste the address, or you want to type the value that you have. So we are going to be using address to find, and that's the address that we just got. So you want to click OK. It's going to rescan. I'm going to say that as second PTR. So it's going to rescan every single one of these, uh, every single one of these pointers. 
and there you go, it, get it got rid of a lot of pointers. So, however, just to make sure, I'm going to redo this a couple more times. Alright, so I finally found my value, sorry, my address, and I'm going to repeat the same process that I already did. I'm going to copy the new address, put it into pointer scan, paste it here, press OK, put it as number 3, and there we go. 12,598. That's really low numbers. So I'm just going to take like the first five one the first five pointer scan results. I'm going to delete these except the last one. Except the last pointer scan. Now this is not very really reliable, so I'm going to delete that one. Now I'm going to type 320. They all changed to 320, 33, 44, 50, sorry, uh, 55. I think I narrowed it down to two pointer scans. <clears throat> However, I'm just going to make it 600 and uh, see if I can get the coin, if it actually changes. And there it goes, 601. Okay. So now you want to test this if it works, so I'm going to close the game. And uh, start it again. And if I would just go to process, open, yes, keep the code. Let's see the previous one went, doesn't know, <coughs> doesn't really know what to do. Now, obviously, you don't need two or three pointer scan results, you just need one. But I always uh, put out five of them. So, just in case some of them don't work or they go, uh, they can't find the value there you go, 525 <clears throat> then I remove them one by one until I find one that's good for me that's pointer scans and uh, how to make a simple this is a simple cheat table so I'm just going to make this nice and uh, if you have a choice chamber and if you play offline then you can try this and uh, Link will be in this, the link for download will be in the description, and you will see that it actually works. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you all in my next cheat engine tutorial. Sayonara.